Welcome to Mini Orange. Sonar Cube is an open source platform developed by Sonar Source for continuous inspection of code quality. Sonar Cube does static code analysis, which provides report of bugs, vulnerabilities, and code duplication. Sonar Cube reduces the risk of software development within a very short amount of time. Mini Orange single sign-on for Sonar Cube provides better and robust SSO solution. Mini Orange plugin provides support for various features, such as signed request, encrypted assertion, on-the-fly user creation, user profile and role mapping, test configuration utility to verify configuration, and SP metadata details and many more. So, in this video we are going to set up SonarCube single sign-on with custom identity provider using Mini Orange Simul plugin. Let's get started with the setup. Download the SonarCube Simul plugin from Mini Orange website. Here we will see plugin is downloaded. Then copy the downloaded plugin. And go to SonarCube installation, extensions, plugins folder and paste it jar file here. Once you restart the server. On your SonarCube dashboard, click on administration. In the administration tab, click on Mini Orange SOML. Here, enable the SIMO login option. And click on save. So, let's configure custom identity provider. Here we will take an example Octa IDP is our custom IDP. Log in to your Octa account. From Octa dashboard, navigate to applications. Now, click on create app integration. Then, select Simul 2.0. Enter the app name of your choice. And then click on next. Now, for the single sign on URL, go back to the plugin in Sonar Cube, click on the configuration drop down, and select Mini Orange Simul support. Here, you will find the SP metadata details. You can either download the metadata file, or provide the metadata details manually. Copy the ACS URL, and paste it in the given field. Now, for the audience URI, go back to the plugin, and copy the SP entity ID. Then, paste it in the given field. Then scroll down, and enter the attribute names and values in the given field. And click on Next button. Here, select the Relatable option and click on Finish. Then, navigate to Assignments to assign the user to your application. Now, click on Assign, and select Assign to People. Now assign the app to the people. Click on Save and go back. Click on Done. As we can see, the user is assigned successfully. Now, navigate to Sign On tab, and scroll down. Then, click on View Setup Instructions. Here, you will find Okta metadata details, which you will need for further configuration. Let's configure SonarCube as service provider. In the plugin, scroll down. Here, for IDP Entity ID. Go to Okta, copy the Identity Provider issuer. Then, Paste it in the given field. Click on Save. Now for login URL, go back to Okta, and copy the identity provider single sign on URL, and paste it in the given field. Click on Save. Scroll down, and for certificate, again go to Okta, copy the certificate and paste it in the plugin. Click on Save. From configuration drop-down select Mini Orange SIML support. Then, navigate to Test Configuration. And click on Test Configuration. The test configuration is successful, along with the name ID, name and email. Keep the test configuration window open, and go back to plugin configuration. Now you can easily map required user profile attributes. For example, to map name, copy the attribute name from test configure which contains the name value, and paste it into the name field, and click on save. Similarly copy the attribute email, and paste it in the email field, and click on save. In the group attribute, provide the attribute name which includes groups received from Okta. In case your group names in Okta are different from the groups in SonarCube, then you have to enable the manual group mapping option. Once enabled, provide the groups in key value format, where key will be the group present in SonarCube and value will be the expected group received from Okta. In the additional simul settings, you'll find a few advanced options such as signed request, it is capable to send digitally signed requests to the IDP and force authentication. This feature ensures that user get authenticated at IDP on every SSO, even if the user is having an existing IDP session. In the customization settings, you can provide the SP entity ID of your choice. Also, you can provide your own pair of private and public certificate key pair. Now you can perform single sign-on into SonarCube using SSO button on SonarCube login page. 
Click on Login with Simul IDP. Then, enter your Okta credentials to log in. User successfully logged in. To verify, go to Administration. Then click on Security, and select Users. Now, you can see the user is created here successfully. MiniOrange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.